Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to check out the UDIRC 1805 Pro which is the brushless version of the 1805 and whether it's any good, let's see. And here it is and I must say it's been a while since I had a 118 scale buggy but what I do like is that it has this cute case. All right, now let's see what do we have on the box. So we have this remote, we have oil field sharks, metal differentials, which seems kind of cool, and a gyro. I'm not really sure whether that's cool. Brushless motor, adjustable steering links, and uh, tires, of course, and yeah, LEDs. We had them on those drift cars from UDIRC. This one looks a bit different, but I don't really like the design. So yeah, I did not buy this one. We have the Pro version. Now let's have a look inside. So it seems to be packed quite compact. This is some cardboard, but there's nothing in there. But we do get some pretty detailed instructions and no useless plastic straps to hold it in place. We don't need the extra plastics. Now let's have a look at the remote. I was able to check out the remote on another model before and I kind of like it. It is well in the hand. You have three different speeds. One handed steering is quite good and it feels okay. Kind of sturdy for a plastic one. This carbon looky thingy is also nice. And it takes four AAA batteries. So we have the dial for the ESP or gyro, steering duro rate, steering trim, throttle reverse, steering reverse. And in the package we also get the USB charger, spare pins, this metal wrenching tool, a screwdriver, and an Allen wrench. All right, now for the car. I must say, I mean, looking from the outside, it looks like a pretty compact little buggy. We have oil filled sharks front and back. Metal dog bones also front and back. And LEDs also front and back. Now let's have a look inside. Be careful not to nick the cable for the lights. Well, it looks quite tidy in here. This is a 3200 kV brushless motor with a heatsink on top. Then we have a three wire servo, which is always good if you want to upgrade. Here we have the ESC combo with built-in gyro, which I'm not sure whether it will be good or not based on my early experience with UDIRC. And I actually like the latch for the battery and the battery is a LiPo. As you can hear, all metal gearing. Not sure about those tires though. There's lots of air, but they are not too hard. So. Man, I'm not really sure, we have to see. I'm wondering if RCAWD is making tires for this size. If they do, I will put a link in the description. All right, radio on, car on. with the first speed and gyro halfway turned up. Hey, whoops. All right, let's try this again.
Let's see how straight it will stay with ESP turned halfway up. Well, in that speed it seems alright, uh, steering is okay. Let's see about the second speed though. And third speed. Well, at high speed, the gyro overcompensates to left and right and it wobbles about and gives some unwanted drifting footage. So, I will turn the ESP all the way down for the rest of the video. It may not be visible to you, but steering feels way much better now. Driving this thing is actually lots of fun when you have turned the gyro off, there's no use for it, they can really ditch it, maybe it saves a few bucks then, because the model is rather expensive for a 118 scale, but it is fun. So if you can grab this thing for like $80, it's probably a great gift for someone who's starting with the hot. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing, and thank you for watching.